Good morning. I'm currently running late. I'm going to be showing you guys what my morning is like. Come with me. Anytime after like a long weekend, I'm just completely thrown off. So I got to get the boys ready for school. Guys, no iPads. If you guys do not have iPods during the week. Mini weeks? Yeah. Oh, they're done. That's why I'm just late. I'm just gonna do crackers and cheese today because I don't really know what else to do. So usually I have like more healthier things to pack, like fruits and stuff, but I have to go and do Costco today. Usually I do Costco on Mondays, but the boys were home yesterday. So this is what I'm giving them. Crackers and cheese. I get one of these little bunny fruit snacks. A granola bar for Simon. He likes these little cookies, so I'm going to pack in these. I have some of these little mini Krispies butter popcorn. And then I'm giving them a juice box today. I don't always pack them juice boxes. I usually just give them water. But since I'm missing out on a few things that I usually give them today, I'm going to pack them. It's these Kiju mango pineapple juice boxes. Please go brush teeth, Simon. So everything is ready to go for school. I put Abby in her extra saucer again this morning. Here she is. Hi, boo-boo. Hi. Hello. I'm gonna empty the dishwasher now. It's one thing that I have to do in the morning. And if I don't, dishes just end up piling up in the sink. What's up? Come here. What do you mean Jackson says you have plaque? Let me see your teeth. Come here. They look really clean to me. done cleaning up the kitchen and I'm not gonna bother doing my hair till I get back I have a few minutes actually I'm gonna go do my hair it's so nice having the boys at an age where I can trust them to leave them downstairs with the baby obviously I don't leave them with her like just sitting on the couch she's just in her extra saucer and the boys are down there watching her which is great I have like five minutes to do my hair quickly hair is done Record time, it's only 7.26. My skin was doing so well postpartum, which I was like shocked about because with all the hormones and stuff, I thought I'd be having crazy breakouts, which I did have with my boys. But even all throughout my pregnancy, my skin was like so clear, which is crazy. But I'm starting to get some random breakouts now. And I had always been using this like face cream and no breakouts, nothing. And then it finished and I noticed that my skin was breaking out. I started using that CeraVe, CeraVe, whatever you want to call it, lotion. And then I got like two breakouts on my forehead, two on here. I got one right here. I'm so mad. But I ordered another tub of that one and so it hopefully gets here within the next one to two days whenever i start getting breakouts i like try to figure out what changed like did i eat something different that had more sugar in it what did i do that's what i try to go back and 
from what I can think of, that's the only thing that has changed. So it's got to be that. And it's 7.28. Boys have to get ready to go to school. Got to take them out to the bus. So let's get going. I've been looking for my like baby carrier, the more structured one. And I don't know where I put it. And then I remembered, oh, we went to the mall the other day and I brought it and I put it in the trunk. So it is in the trunk of my car. So I'm just going to wrap the baby in my little other wrap thing. And that should be good. Hey girl, you can wear spring jackets and you can wear shoes. You don't have to wear boots. Okay, but you do have, you do have to hurry up. No, not your Crocs. Hmm? Well, you're still a kid and you're growing, but as an adult, your shoe, your feet don't grow. All right. I'm gonna go get these boys off to the bus and I will see you after that. So I just got back in from dropping the boys off at the bus and now I'm gonna make myself a little coffee. Baby girl was just eating. I came in and I was on the phone with my mom so I fed her. <laughs> and then I, yeah, so she felt, she did fall asleep for a second there but I'm gonna go make myself a coffee and then I'll feed her again and she'll nap. And the way that I find it works best for us when I want to take her out to do things like groceries is to feed her and let her sleep. And then when she wakes up, she plays for a little bit and then I'll feed her again and then we'll go out because that time she usually naps. And I like kicking her out when she's sleeping. But if not, since the weather is beautiful today, I'll just wear her. It was a bit harder wearing her when I went out in the winter because I didn't want to take her out of her car seat and everything to get her in the carrier in the cold. But now there's nothing to worry about, right? Right. She's got a lot to say this morning. She's very talkative today. So now I'm gonna make my coffee. I feel like doing a cold coffee today because it's so nice out, but I also don't have any vanilla syrup, which I need to get. Cold coffee, hot coffee, cold coffee, hot I'm gonna make a cold coffee. So I have these little mason jars for sugar. Oh, my mom is calling me back. Hello? Yeah. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna do brown sugar. So I'm gonna put the brown sugar, I see some people put it in the bottom of this, but this one isn't that big and I'm doing a double espresso shot. So I'll put it in the bottom of my little jar here. Just making messes here. So that may look like a lot of sugar, but it's really not for me, maybe for some people. I like sweet coffees. I don't like having to like cringe every time I drink my coffee. And the really great thing about this milk frother is that it will froth milk warm or cold. So I'm just pouring it. So to get it to do hot, you just press the button and to get it to do cold, you hold it. So you'll see here, the button will go blue and then it's cold. So I'm gonna grab this pod here. So then I'm just gonna this cold, but I'm not gonna empty it this time. I've been having problems with my machine recently too. It's really weird. The other day it started going and then it just stopped. There was enough water in the tank. There was no other thing that should be causing an issue. So I don't know. I've heard, honestly, a few people have had issues with this one, but I've had this for over a year now. And that's the first time I've had any issues. right now I thought that she was gonna sleep but I fed her and she just won't stop talking 
A few things that I usually do with her when she's awake, if she's not in her playpen or in the exercise saucer, I'll sing with her, sing a few nursery rhymes. She loves when I sing. Or I might read her a little book. One thing that I've started doing is when my mom had these little sight reading books that she got for my youngest son and she brought them over here so he now he's like way past that level now but he reads to her and she loves it reading singing i also have a little play mat upstairs for her that she can do some tummy time on but since i'm down here right now i'll probably just sing with her right or there's her bouncer or her swing but look at her she just wants to go right now I feel like putting her in her extra saucer because she seems so wiggly. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. What am I going to do with you, girl? I also need to cut her nails. They grow so quickly. At first, I was just filing them because when the babies are first born, their nails are very soft. So it's kind of scary to cut them, especially when their fingers are so little. But now her nails are much harder and they are extremely sharp. Your nails are long. She loves, especially when she's feeding, she grabs on and it, it actually hurts. You got a little milk there, girly. This is one of her new onesies. It's still a little big. It's three to six months. It's so weird. Different stores, their sizing is so different because if she was in a Carter's three to six month, it would be like tight. But this is from Old Navy. I've always noticed from the beginning, Old Navy stuff fits big. She's still in some zero to three onesies from Old Navy. Basic avocado toast. Again, sourdough bread, avocado, salt, pepper, and lime. All right, so Abby is now awake. She had a little nap. I just let her nap on me since I was just chilling watching TV. So we are gonna get ready to go to Costco now. All right, girl. I just put her in her little swing for now. <laughs> I'm still trying to decide what I want to wear to go out. I have on just these like sweatpants right now. I'm just gonna wear this like gray shirt. What are we wearing today? I need to go through your drawer so badly. We are ready to go. I'm just gonna get her some socks. You ready to go, girl? Yeah, we are. Put her little socks on and then I'm gonna do her hair. My countertop here is a mess again. All right, boo, let's get you up here. Oh, whoopsies, whoopsies. You can't play with this stuff. She just wants to touch everything. And then at the top, look at those curls. Ooh, look at you, Katie girl. Oh, they're so cute. We're ready to go, aren't we? Are we ready to go? Yay! Look at the princess. Look at those curls. Look at them. She won't let me turn her head. She's so cute. Look at the curls. Okay, let me go feed her and head out. Let's 
get you in here, girl. Now that it's a bit warmer out, I've just been using these little muslin blankets. So I have a million things to carry out with me and I still have to grab bags for Costco. I'll see you guys. All right, that was a very successful trip into Costco. She literally, when I wear her in Costco, she doesn't make a sound. Like she's silent the entire time and everyone's just looking at her like, oh, that's so cute. People don't baby wear enough. It like shocks people that I'm wearing the baby and I'm at Costco, but now I'm so hot after wearing her. I'm sweating. It's time to blast the AC. Getting out of Costco is the worst part. And now this guy has fully stopped his vehicle behind me. Now, one nice thing about having a baby when you come to Costco is that people will just take your cart for you. So I like never have to return my cart to the cart rack because someone always offers. They see me with the baby, they're like, oh, let me take that for you. I'm like, yes, please. And thank you. Now to get to Longo's which is right around the corner. This cool air feels so nice right now. I'm sweating. It's so much worse when you go into Costco with the baby. It's so hot wearing her. I think I'm going to wear her into Longos too because it just makes it so much easier even though I don't really need a lot. What am I really going to Longos for? I didn't bring you guys into Costco with me. I, well, I brought my camera in, but I didn't take it out because it was so busy. Like, I didn't even have time to be pulling out my camera and getting footage in there when I was trying to dodge people and not crash into anyone with my cart. That was a bit crazy. And I'm sure Longos is gonna be the same, but I'll see you guys when I get back into the car. I'm all done. I went to Longos. <clears throat> wow. I went to Longo's, I went to Healthy Planet, and I got everything that I needed and more things that I didn't need. But I bought a tulip plant. I'm very excited to go home. And, but I don't know, is this an indoor plant or an outdoor plant? I feel like it's, it's I feel like it's an outdoor. It keeps soil moist. Can we place in, I should've got a pink one. Maybe I'll go get another one. It was $10, but I think it can just be inside the house too. But we'll see. When I get home, I'll do a little bit more research on tulips. It was very busy everywhere I went. The baby fell asleep in the carrier while I was in the store, and she transferred so perfectly into her car seat. So she is fast asleep now in her car seat, and I am going home. It is 11.48. It's lunchtime. I can feel that it's lunchtime because I'm hungry. A lot of the times when I go get groceries, I don't eat breakfast, but I did have breakfast today, and it really stopped me from making some bad decisions when I was buying my groceries. Because usually I would buy candy or something to snack on in the car while I'm driving, but I didn't feel for it today, so I didn't. Healthy Planet had some good sales, but when you want to buy stuff that's organic and natural, it's like really expensive. After looking at it a little more thoroughly, I realized that it has this little tag thingy in it that tells you what color it is. So the outside color is the color that the tubes are going to be. So I'm going to go back tomorrow and get a pink one because that is what I wanted. I didn't even think about it that tulips come in different colors and that the paper actually means something. I'm going to do a quick haul of everything that I got from Costco. So I got this pack of scrub daddy sponges there's eight of them in there and so i'm going to use these for like bathroom cleaning and cleaning around the house i got these little mini naan breads uh, i like to let the kids make their own little mini pizzas kind of like lunchables i packed these for the little pizza doughs they like them bagels yogurt drinks I'm really excited to try this. So it is frozen fruit mixes. And the nice thing about this brand is that they come in already pre-sized packages. 
So this one is mangoes, blueberries, bananas, spinach, and kale. I've never seen them with vegetables in it, but this one had vegetables. So I was like, cool, that, I'm going to try that. And I'm going to throw these in the freezer right now. So these are the little packets that they have. And they just throw this. Yeah, so you just throw this in the blender with some milk and some juice and you're good. And then I got this pack of brioche buns. I wish it was like half the amount, but it's $5 and you know Costco, you're gonna get everything in massive quantities. But I'm gonna use these to make the kids uh, little sandwiches for lunch. And then of course I had to grab another lasagna, one of my favorite pre-packaged meals at Costco for quick and easy dinners. And then this time I got these uh, pre-sliced cheese. It's real cheese, it's not like that rubbery crap. So these are really good for sandwiches. I got some Activia yogurt. And then I got a bag of milk. And then I got these cold cuts. These are not from Costco, these are from Longo's. And then I got these tortilla chips. I got some pasta sauce. This Rouse pasta sauce is really good. And they had these sets that I had seen like a month ago at Costco, but they were way more expensive. They have them on sale now. So I got each of the boys a set. These are super cute. Little shorts and a little sweater. A set. I hope this one fits Jackson. It's size eight. He's going to be nine, but it does look kind of big. So hopefully that fits him. Got Miss Abby this little onesie i did not know that costco has two-way zip onesies like and they're eight dollars eight dollars and it's super cute it's this little s'mores one i love it they have a lot of really cute designs for girls and boys this one could go for boys or girls and then from longos i got one of these drinks again this blood orange italian soda it's really good the thing that kind of sucks is that you kind of have to drink it in one day because um, it's carbonated, so once you open it, the fizziness is going to go away. I also got the kids these little snacks. I love the Annie's brand stuff. They have way cleaner ingredients than like Cheez-It brand or whatever other brand, and they don't have fake coloring in their food. And then I got them these. these this pack is usually $10, and it was on sale for like $3. So I'd always wanted to try these with the kids, but I said I'm not buying this for $10. So now that it was on sale, I let them try it. It's just these little s'mores graham sandwiches. And I got them some juice boxes. They were really liking these Kiju um, mango and pineapple juice boxes. And then I've seen this brand before, Honest Kids, and they had berry lemonade flavor. So I always got these to let them try too. And then I got this malt bread. I don't really eat it, but I know Mike likes it. So I bought him a loaf of it. And then these are the things that I got from Healthy Planet. So I got these Bob Snail little fruit. They're like fruit roll-ups, but it's actual just fruit in a little roll. Like the ingredients, is, this is just apple and raspberry, and this one is just apple and strawberry. The boys love taking these for school. I even end up snacking on them sometimes too. And then I got Mike a deodorant stick. He wanted one that's more natural. And so I got him one of the native ones, but he likes more of the gel one. So I got him this one. It is, it smells really good too. It's a gel stick. So what brand is this? Everyman Jack. It's made with naturally derived ingredients. Hopefully it's good. I didn't know that Attitude brand made kids toothpaste. Usually I just get them the brand... Oh, the Hello brand one. I got them this unicorn one this time, but it does have fluoride in it. And then the fluoride free one, they only have the watermelon one, which they don't really like. So I got them this one to try. It's fluoride free and it's mango flavored and they love mango stuff. So that is everything that I got for my groceries. Now I'm going to put all this stuff away. I'm probably going to make myself a smoothie for lunch and then go take a walk because it is just so beautiful outside. What does it say now? 13 degrees. I feel like it's way warmer than that. So I just went upstairs and I was feeding Abby and I ended up sitting there because I started watching TikToks and it is now one o'clock and I'm starving. I tried to lay her down for a nap and she wouldn't transfer. So she's awake and she is just over in her exorcisor. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna make myself a smoothie like I said I was gonna do. So I have my blender here, ready to go. I'm gonna take one of these 
fruit pouches that I just got from Costco. Cut that open and dump it in there. So I'm just going to put some milk in it. And I'm going to do a yogurt. And I have this mango nectar too. So I'm going to put a little bit of this. That should be good. I might have to add some water to it if it's too thick. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little thick. I'm going to add some water to it. Okay, let's give it a try. Not bad. I would prefer it was a little sweeter. So next time I probably will add a little bit more banana or some honey. But it's not bad. You can definitely taste the spinach, but it's not strong or anything. Not bad. It needs to be sweeter though. I'm going to add a little bit of honey to it. Let's see. Pretty good. So I'm gonna go drink this and then I still wanna go for a walk. So I just fed the baby and she's good. So I probably will just go for a walk after this. So I'm all done my lunch. That smoothie was pretty good. When I poured in the honey after, it kind of just sat in the bottom, which was kind of annoying because then it was just all coming up in the straw. So I will just mix it in next time properly. Hi. <laughs> back from my walk that didn't last very long it's actually hot out there like i was sweating i'm not dressed properly for this kind of weather right now but it's so nice it's so nice to finally be able to just go outside you don't have to bundle up the baby you don't have to wear a jacket you can just literally step outside and be fine so Oh, I'm so tempted to cancel my gym reservation for tonight and just stay home because the boys would love to just be outside in this weather. It is now 1.50 and this was my mommy morning routine. So that's the end of my morning on this beautiful Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If anyone has any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.